Hi everyone, this is Vlad from Modulus Render and in today's tutorial I'm going to talk about how I did the lighting for this scene using SketchUp and Enscape. Now let's take a look around and see the room uh, that I made over here. I had a mood board that I used to uh, match some colors of the furniture and uh, used it as a general idea for this space. Now I closed all the layers that have lighting on it. So I just wanted to show you uh, the room and the surroundings in this scene. I put a, a building outside so it's something to see from from inside. And let's just start and scape and see how it looks with uh, without the lighting. This is how the scene looks just with the sunlight coming in through the windows. It's pretty dark, right? The auto exposure is on. Let me just turn on settings to show you what I have. So auto exposure is at 50%, that's default. And then um, auto contrast is on. white background so there's basically nothing just the the building I put outside and I usually render in 4k but you can change that to whatever you want so the settings are, are pretty basic I just uh, like to bring the sun brightness down to about 20% or under 20% and uh, the shadow sharpness again really low. I always, almost always leave it at zero. So uh, I don't really like these these types of like hard shadows on the floor. So I'm always looking for some soft lighting. And that's what I want from, uh, from this uh, scene. Because I want to get some close-ups, some, some detailed shots of, of um, all sorts of areas of the scene of, of this chair uh, here by the window um, with the fire. So uh, because I want some detail shots, I need some uh, some good lighting in the room. So this this won't do. Let's start by just adding the artificial lighting that we would have in the room like spotlights or chandeliers or uh, you know wall scones or whatever. So let me just turn on that layer, lights. So this is it, some spotlights, some, some ceiling lights um, to bring some, some details around, uh, around the, um, uh, the paintings, the pictures, right? And, and some shadows on the sofa, but you know, it's, it's pretty dark. It looks like it's, it's dark outside. It doesn't look like it's, uh, uh, in the middle of the day. So this is the scene with the artificial lighting turned on and as you can see there's a lot of dark areas and we need we basically need more light on the inside. Now whenever I put fill lights um, and I try to equalize let's say the the image or um, prioritize the lightings or the intensity or or you know just have a overall look on uh, on how I set up the lighting you know a lot of people just go and turn on white mode like this and then then you can see the lighting without the influence of the uh, of the materials but if you do this if you set up the the lighting like this then when you turn the materials back on it will be really dark because in this case, uh, there's a lot of color, a dark floor. So instead of using white mode to calibrate the lighting, I just like uh, to desaturate the whole thing, and then we can just bring it back. But because this is this is just an effect from the from the image settings over here, so it's not 
uh, like the white mold that requires some time to um, take out the material, replace them with the white material and re-render. So this is just an effect over the, um, the rendered image or the real-time render. So if, if we leave the image black and white like this, we have more uh, visibility on, on the lights and what they do. So first of all, let's go to this chair or to this armchair over here. And let's say this is the first image I want to render out with the armchair and we need to set up the lighting around it. So first of all, as I did in my first tutorial in Enscape about lighting, I will use some fill lights that are made out of uh, line lights. So we're just going to take some, some line lights and put them vertically and put them around the room as a photographer would for a, a studio setup. So I already have these made on a layer. I call them plain lights one or, or fill lights. So as you can see here in SketchUp, this is the, the lights I was talking about, just line lights arranged vertically. And then we put them on the outside, on the inside and wherever we need more light, basically. So this is the effect that this lighting has, right? We already see there's a ton of details, uh, of more details than before. It looks a lot, a lot better. Let me just zoom out so you can see the, the whole image. Right, so here if I turn these off, right, it has a huge impact. So these types of, um, of lights bring in uh, a lot of fill light. So not a lot of shadow, but a lot of ambient lighting. Another layer of lights that I added are what I like to call detail lights. So detail lights are um, companions, let's say, to these fill lights because the fill light brings a lot of uh, ambient light into the room, but the detail light bring more contrast and a lot of contact shadows. So this is very important for detail shots that I want to achieve in this, uh, in this scene. So the way we do the detail lights which are only put on the inside because if you put them on the outside, you get a lot of weird shadows. So it's, it's only on the inside. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. So the way to do the detail lights, I usually use rectangle lights. So let's go to rectangle light and use this line here. So we have a rectangle light. Now, the rectangle light is pretty basic and simple, but what I like to do is make a different kind of uh, plane like I did with the line lights, but using rectangle lights. So for example, let's just put three of these like this, and then move them up maybe five more. So I have sort of a, a light plane with all of these rectangle lights, right? And let me just see here, oops. Just select all and make them a group. And then what I like to do is move them around because like this, like they are now, uh, the light will be very even, right, on all sides. So what I like to do is just twist them a little bit, each of them randomly, right? You can use a, a plugin like Chaos to do this, but, you know, I'm just showing you um, the main idea. So you just start moving all of these around a little bit so the shadow is casted or the light is casted in different directions so you have this very soft shadow as a result and of course more lighting on the inside so again i got these set up on a different layer and i want to turn that layer on so you can see so these are the the detail lights now 
come closer here. And they look like this. Right? So it's the same um, rectangle lights and just I put them close to, to the fill lights for some extra kick to the light basically. So what these do, if we come again close to the um, to the chair, or no, let's let's just look at the whole scene overall to see the effect. So this is the um, the detail lights, right? I'll I'll just turn off that layer so you can see what the the effect is, and we'll wait for the auto exposure to to expose the image. So this is with just the fill lights, those line lights uh, set up around the room and on the outside. And when I turn on the detail lights, these rectangle light planes, you'll see the difference. You'll see how uh, contact shadows start to appear right under the furniture, uh, on the walls here by the plant. There's more uh, shadow and of course on the ceiling, which is a tough place to get shadows in Enscape, but around the spotlights and around the light, you'll see a visible shadow over there. So it's, it's really cool for, for detail shots. Let me just turn off all of these layers so you can have a better look. So I'll just turn off the detail lights and the fill lights. So this is just with the, the sun coming in through the windows. And then we put the plain lights, I mean, I, we put the fill lights on the, the line lights and then the detail lights over those only on the inside. And we get this effect. Now we can come and uh, to the settings and just turn the saturation back on. Now, something I want to fix is that now we have a lot of light on the inside of this apartment, but on the outside, it looks a little bit dark, right? So if, if we bring in these fill lights on the inside, it would be good to, to brighten up the outside of the image too. I mean, the outside of the building. So in order to do that, let me just set up the camera. So we're looking outside here and I'll show you in SketchUp. I just used some emissive material that I put on some rectangles. Where are they? Exterior fill lights. So let me just turn this on and you'll see what happens here in a minute. Like that. You see? So I just put some rectangles over here facing uh, the building. Right, and I put the, a white emissive material on them, and that's it. So that way we get some nice light or even light on the building outside, so it looks brighter. And again, we can control that brightness by controlling the emissive material. So if I want the outside to be even brighter, I just bring up the, the luminance of the material. Right? And you see. So, of course, you need a good eye to do this. So, my recommendation is to look at uh, interior photography that resembles what you are trying to achieve. So, by looking at the photograph of a real place, right, then you, you can match the lighting to that photo. And this is the final image that I did using this technique. And if you found this information useful, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.